I'm David Strassman. I'm Chuck Wood. And you're watching Comic Book Fan Panel. We are? You are. I am? You are. You are. Get ready for the SmackDown! Who are these jokers? Well, uh, this is... My name's Jaden. This is Jaden, that's Phil. Yeah, so what? Oh, fine. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what are you guys, internet geeks? Yes, we are, actually. Are you jealous? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, hey, um, keep yeah. it down back there, we're recording! <laughs> yeah, we're recording, guys, keep it uh, down. Uh, yeah. um, Welcome to the Comic Book Fan Panel. I'm Phil. My name is Jaden. And today we are with a very special guest, Mr. David. My name David. is Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard it first, Chuck. Chuck Wood. And David Strassman, how are you doing today? I'm doing very good, very good. Thank That's you. Uh, welcome to my workshop. This is where oh, I build no. all the puppets and uh, Fantastic. this is my workbench. Uh, yeah, look at that stuff there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you think? Don't of touch it. <laughs> it costs money. Yeah. All right, so um, so the first question is... How um, did I like Suicide Squad? Is that the first question? Oh, well, let's start with that. <laughs> yeah, what did you think of it? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I'll see, I, I'm not a comic book reader. I've never really... I'll tell you, let's see what I read. Uh, I think I read Archie's when I was about uh, maybe 10. That's it. Uh, so, uh, you know, I've got other mates who, who's read them all, you know, from Spider-Man to, um, you know, all these movies that come out, yeah. I don't even, I didn't even know they were comic books. I mean, it's, it's, when it says Marvel yeah. or DC Comics, oh, this was a comic book or a comic book story. Yeah. Mm. I, I read comic books. What do you read, Chuck? The ones with the girls in them? Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, cleavage. No, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. And cleavage. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, that's cool. Nipple shot. Quiet, Chuck. Be quiet, please. So, how are you guys enjoying Australia? Uh, no, it's great. I'm really enjoying it here. Uh, this is my second home. Oh, I'm really nice. I've been coming awesome. here since uh, since 1991. How old are you, kids? Yeah, I'm 21. 21? I'm um, 22. So you guys are born in uh, 94 and 5? Yes, right. that is correct. Right, right. Awesome. How do you do that math? Well, I'm smart, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was here in Australia before you were born. You guys That's are bouncing around in your old man's laws. <laughs> <laughs> was there anyone who inspired you to do what you need? Uh, besides the devil. <laughs> the devil. Um, they think I'm real. That's all right, Chuck. Uh, no, I really never was inspired. Uh, I started doing this, I started doing magic, and then uh, being a magician, uh, there was a class that was offered in my year seven, and I took it up. I, I did very well at it. Uh, the teacher showed me how to advertise in a local uh, paper to do kids' parties, so I started making money at a very early age. So that really was how I started. It was a function of earning money. Wow, nice. That's really awesome. Like, I myself have seen two of your shows. Um, I went to see um, Be Careful What You Wish For in Warrigal. All right. And yeah. um, actually. Warrigal! <laughs> Gippsland! Gippsland! That is correct. Gippsland! <laughs> Warrigal! Gateway to sale. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually saw I Teddy in um, Tarogan. Oh really? All right. Yeah, All and right. Um, it's changed I, a bit since then. Definitely, and like we're both very big fans of what you guys do, and we're, we we well, just the one guy. He's a puppet. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yeah. I'm just a puppet. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who inspired your characters? Um, they really, nobody really inspired them. Uh, Chuck was my first puppet as a. Uh, he came as a mail order doll for $90. Did you make your investment back? Not yet. So I had him for almost uh, at least 12 years before Teddy Bear came along. And Teddy Bear was a suggestion from my manager at the then time to have a puppet that was opposite the brash, rude, evil me. Yeah. <laughs> so the Teddy Bear was pretty an obvious choice. And just over time, you know, I wanted, like for example, Kevin the Alien, you saw me working with him earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was a puppet I wanted to be made of latex so that you had no seams where the arms joined the body. I wanted him to look like a fully, pup, you know, a full-on real puppet with, with actual yeah. skin. So. Yeah, I think when I first um, saw Kevin the Alien in one of your shows where you have the hand. Right there, I, I actually had to think about it for a second going, wait, where is your hand, where, where'd your hand go? And I'm just <laughs> like, magic, yeah. I have to say for, be careful what you, wish for your effects for that like with the screening and everything is just incredible like um, yeah, the way that you. you're able to control the puppets with that you being there I was it amazes me every time like every time I've seen one of your shows well this show just, is uh, again the second half is me not touching any of the puppets oh wow oh, yeah no I don't remember that yeah, yeah, yeah. you haven't seen it yet 
No, I haven't. I haven't right. yet. Just really incredible stuff, the work that you do, and it's Thank um, you. same with you too, jo Chuck. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking over here. Just looking at the camera. No, no. Oh. Just thinking about shit. Oh yeah. yeah. What's on your mind, Chuck? No, your business. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> no. All right. No. Okay. Well, I hurt him. Be nice, okay. Chuck. Be nice. I think we'll definitely ask Chuck a question if you wanna. Yeah. What is it? Would you see yourself as a hero or a villain? I'm both. You're both? I'm Bart Simpson and Homer. Ah. Oh, that's a really <laughs> <laughs> You sure look like Homer? Uh, yeah. You need to put on much. some weight, mate. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, hand me my iPhone there. I want to listen to some tunes. No, we're in the, yeah. in the middle of an interview, Chuck. Uh, I, I want to listen to some tunes. Not now. Not now. <laughs> what song is that? What song? That's um, Suicide Squad. Yeah, Suicide Squad. Um, <laughs> sucker for pain. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for pain. When you're not performing on stage and all that, what what are like some of your hobbies you like to do in your space? Um, I fly real airplanes. I fly model airplanes. Wow. I do. Uh, I've got a um, a uh, virtual reality uh, system at home with the HTC Vive. So uh, I've been playing uh, some really twisted games uh, on, wow. in VR. Yeah. Um, my son just got uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, you know about that? No, I don't you think guys don't so. game. You guys aren't gamers. Um, yes or no? It's, yeah, a, it's a yes or no question. I guess in yes or no, yes. Then. Yeah, that's a no. So uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've been uh, uh, messing around with that. I also have a um, a little uh, 250 mil. Uh, 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 drone racer, you know, with the FPV goggles. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I've been messing around with that, and um, love to go out bush camping. So that's kind of like my hobbies. Nice. No. Well, read about robotics, <laughs> fixing <laughs> the robotics, fixing the robotics. All right. So Chuck, yeah. how how are you enjoying Australia? Sucks. Oh, really? Yeah. We're on the other side of the planet. Is there is the or, or, everything should be falling off. You're, you're just so ungrateful, mate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. G'day. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Get it up you with a dog. All right, come on, stop. <laughs> well, um... Get a dog up you. All right, come on. <laughs> I wanted to ask, because um, I've seen, like, all your shows, Chuck, and all that. What is your issues with Teddy? Like, we wanted to ask first, what is... He's a sook. Ah. Oh, and yeah. he's in, uh, he's a, he's, he's a jerk. Well, come on, you're just jealous. What? You're just jealous he gets all the love. That's not true. I get love every once in a while. Yeah? When was the last time you had some love, Chuck? Uh, last night cost 500 bucks? Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Okay, ha, 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 ha. Well, Phil does like you, Chuck, and so do I, weird. Yeah, well, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your dreams are dashed. Wait, so, are you, so you're straight, right? No, I'm trisexual. So you're as straight as a circle? No, I'm tri trisexual. <laughs> no, have you ever... Th no! Oh, 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 mate! Th no! Oh, oh, <laughs> mate! Mate, really? Oh. What? Whoa. I didn't do anything. Mate. Oh. <laughs> um, have you ever... <laughs> oh! Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh. I didn't do anything. All right. Oh, got us yeah, off guard, yeah. Chuck. Hey, Oliver, give me some Kleenex or tissue, would you? At least I won't have to have a shower tonight. <laughs> yeah. Cut the urine. <laughs> so, Chuck, after you um, sp spitting on me. Yeah. Yeah, that was just disgusting. Uh, Good. Have you ever considered going solo? I have. He actually has. He waits you to see the show. Well, you oh. have seen the show. He's oh, yeah, I have. Solo. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, you need to do some better research, dude. <laughs> what is your fixation on pencils? Well, if your dick was shaped like one. Okay, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that's right. Okay, this is a Just children's come, show. Yeah, this is a children's show. No, well, it's not. Oh, you're right. <laughs> what is your demographic? What was the question? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the one thing that boosted your career like? as a ventriloquist? Um, well, I was really bored with what I was doing. I didn't find any other ventriloquist to be cool or hip. I mean, they were really, really daggy telling stupid jokes. And, and so it's when I decided to put the remote control in him, uh, which is 1986, I had this routine where he sacked me. He came to life using, you know, remote control and robotics. 
as I left the stage and the audience freaked out. And so, oh wow. Because in 86, there were no uh, the making of um, uh, Walking with Dinosaurs. There really weren't any mm -hmm. TV shows that showed you how special effects were done. So no yeah. one really knew that it's possible a puppet that's operated manual could suddenly move by itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he started moving by himself, audiences freaked out and I suddenly, I added an element of theater to a very circusy, lame yeah. art form and that's when yeah. I knew I had something happening. And it's been a dark road ever since. Uh, he has some serious robotics in here. And in my, my latest show, I tell you, um, I demonstrated. I demonstrated to uh, the ultimate. Uh, no other um, ventriloquist does uh, five mm. voices in the sustained time that I do it. And these are some of the most uh, high-tech robotics on any theatrical stage oh, wow. uh, in the world. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. That's really awesome. Well, you saw the uh, setup. When I had yeah. All the yeah. So we you did. saw my rehearsing. Yeah. Mm, and that's, I like I said, I've seen the show, and when how you're able to do all those voices at once, it's like, oh, it's amazing. Like I think it, they're brown nosing me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in yeah, be careful what you wish for when you were able to, on stage, skull a glass of milk, wasn't it? Yeah. While having Chuck talk. Yeah. I was just. Amazing! Like I just remember watching. I was in the audience watching. I'm just like, what? What, what? <laughs> what is he doing? It's a trick glass. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So, um, Chuck, you know, I heard that you're like quite like robotic. You're like the seven million dollar man. Uh, more, dude. More than? Yeah. Yeah. That's like the seventies. Yeah. Yeah. And the twenty million dollar dude. Okay, is that all? <laughs> oh, oh mate! Ouch. Don't you dare! Oh, Don't you dare, sir! <laughs> Since we are a comic book channel, what, if you guys could be a hero slash villain, who would you be? Well, that's kind of the question that's been going around. What superpower would you want, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, what would you want, Chuck? Uh, never get soft. Okay. <laughs> but wait, isn't that already? Oh, that's right. I need a wood. Yeah, it's a bit of wood. Um, comic book. I don't know. I mean, I never knew. Uh, I don't think. Uh, like the Iron Man com comics, I have no idea. I mean, uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. just made that the most amazing character. Oh, he me. did. No. He what, was. Did, what was it like in the comic books before he came on the scene? Was he just was, a boring guy? He was, I think what made Was Tony, Robert Stark a boring guy in the comic books? Uh, was his name Richard Stark? Well, Tony Stark. Tony yeah. Stark. Yeah. Um, he was <laughs> technically... See how much I know? <laughs> he was technically the way that Robert Downey Jr. portrayed him was exactly the way he was in the comics. So that's why a lot oh, of really? fans loved Robert Downey Jr. and that's why wow. it was well, one yeah, of I mean if anybody, I'd be him I'd be him uh, yeah nice <laughs> yeah oh uh, that's Are you awesome. done yeah I'm done yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, Chuck who would you be uh, I'd be uh, that Joker chick Holly or Joker uh, you know what's your name uh, Harley Quinn yeah Harley Quinn no, Th that's what you'd be yeah. is that is that your crush no I, I want to be her so you would hang around yeah. with the Joker? Yeah. That's oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to you on that one. All right. I, I was going to say, you look like Lex Luthor. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you probably I, get beaten up by Superman all the time. You know, I, I kick Superman's ass. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. I, yeah, I kicked in, I pushed him over, and you know. What do you, how could you do that? He was in a wheelchair. Are you sure it was Superman? Oh, wait, that was Christopher Reeve, sorry. Oh! oh, oh ouch! Gosh, yeah. oh, man. That is rough. I was going to say, that would be really hard without beating Superman without kryptonite, Chuck. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ha have you ever been afraid of getting termites? No. Unside the glass, dickhead. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're just not afraid of anything, Chuck? Uh, no, I'm not real. Ah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's all the questions well, great. that we have. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And time. Yeah, well, thank you so much for taking the time. My for the pleasure. I hope got. this edits to a nice tight 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I think so. I should sit on these guys. No, 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 no. Oh. no, no. <laughs> you should definitely use that as a promo. Hey, Chuck, <laughs> what do you want? So I just want to know, how, how can you see dead people? I see dead people. <laughs> because I can see into the future. And I can see the other worlds. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. <laughs> wow. But, um, <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you right. for taking thank the you. time. Thank you for taking the time, Dave. So, 
Guys, if you want to check out any of David's shows around the world, we'll leave the links to his um, website and his Facebook down below. And YouTube, of course. And YouTube. YouTube. We can't forget that. And Isn't that where we are? Yes, yeah. that's exactly it. <laughs> YouTube, Instagram. So please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And thank you for watching Comic Book Fan Panel. Come on, let's kick it. Let's all get wicked. Put your hands in the sky for a one-way ticket. Yeah.